Okay, let's get to it. I'm back guys with another video and in today's video, it's gonna be another get ready with me. I hope you all aren't getting tired of these videos. I'm trying to get in a little bit of a good mix of everything that I like to do. But either way, this video is going to be uh, me using products that are $10 or less. $10 or less, no more than $10, okay. So it's probably gonna be a long one, okay? So if you don't have any popcorn or whatever, or if you wanna wait until you can get somewhere and just watch it, put it in your watch later uh, folder, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with some skincare and the size that I have is not uh, $10. Okay, however, you can get it in the uh, 0.27 ounce size and it's the Plump Right Back Electrolytes. Okay, so, and the size that I'm talking about, it, it just kind of looks like a tube of lipstick or not lipstick, like a lip balm or something like that. And that size is $8. So you can, you can definitely get that instead of this size okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and i gotta say it is like really hard to find i tried to find products that was ten dollars or less with you know some type of skin loving ingredients in it because you all know that on my channel you know i i, I kind of you know beat you all to death with that but it was really hard however i do think that i'm going to be able to get a good look with this so yeah all right so i'm going to start off with my brows and before i do i'm just going to add just a little bit of powder up here and i'm just going to use the ruby kisses contour palette and i'm just going to use a shade that's closest to my skin tone as possible kind of do that a little bit i've already kind of shaped them with a razor so they should kind of look halfway cleaned up and i'm gonna start off with this oma sharon c brow pencil this is it you can get these at walmart for like i think it's four dollars and 25 cents and I feel like whenever you are doing your brows after you do your skincare, sometimes it is necessary to add a powder on just so the pencil can, you know, go ahead and apply better. So what I like about this pencil is you get one side you get a pencil and the other side you get like a tinted brow gel. All right, so I have them done and I hope they're not too dark. I am going to go ahead and clean them up. Some people like to, you know, just kind of carve out their brows and some do not. It just kind of depends on the person and the look that you're going for. All right, so to carve out my brows, I'm going to use this Nika K Perfection multi concealer and it says super coverage this is it right here i don't know if this is going to dry matte or if it's going to be dewy not sure but let's let's see Now, I don't, I didn't read the ingredients, but I can immediately tell that this has parabens in it just from, you know, doing makeup over the years and, you know, just learning the different smells of different makeup when you apply it and stuff like that. So if, if you're trying to uh, stay away from that, just kind of be aware of this. Okay, I think that this is actually, this shade actually matches my skin tone. I'm going to go ahead and set it and I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is it right here. And always right before I set any concealer, if I'm going to set it, I'll get any creases out 
and I'm just gonna take it just like this into the powder and go ahead and set it. Now that looks pretty. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out any creases on this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick my powder back in my sponge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first and I'm just gonna use this. It's another Nika K product and I think this is, palette is $3.99. This is the Mocha Mix. This is the Mocha Mix palette and it's just kind of giving that Huda Beauty vibes. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with this little shade and I'm gonna put it in my crease. And I already know that had I not set the concealer, this shade would, you know, definitely be deeper than what you're seeing now. To me, it's actually good. I don't see any problems with it. Okay, and now that I have that apply it. I'm just going to go in with the metallic shade that's right next to it and I kind of want to use my fingers but let me just see what it does with the brush first. So this is what it's doing with the brush. Spray it a little bit. Okay it's kind of doing a little something but I'm just going to go in with my finger. I don't know why it's always it's probably the oils that are on the finger that just makes the finger application just a little bit better. But this color is definitely pretty. And I don't know if that's going to transfer. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more just in case it tries to transfer because I think that kind of ruins the look when you have something, when you have a metallic shade on your lid and when you're blinking up and down, sometimes it can transfer. So I'm just going to take it just a little bit further. That way, if it tries to transfer, it can just kind of transfer on itself, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if that even makes sense, but we're going to bring that crease, make a fake crease all the way up there on the top. So you see how when I look forward, you can still see a line up there. So it doesn't matter if it's touching the fold um, because it's already got the metallic shade on there. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to use this shade next in the outer V. I'm going to just add it right here. So I think it re went really well over the metallic shade. All right, so I got that applied. Now I'm going to add some black eyeliner and this is Beauty Reflection. And it comes in a little packaging like this. All right, now I'm gonna go and do the other side. All right, guys, I'm back with the other eye done and I feel like I don't have the, the crease the same, but you know what? We're gonna keep moving. So next up, I'm gonna go in with the foundation and the foundation that I have is the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. This is it and this is $6.99. So I'm going to use the darkest shade in this palette. I'm going to use this one. You know, it doesn't feel bad. And it doesn't 
doesn't have a scent. So that's a good sign to me if it doesn't have a scent. Can't seem to see. I'm trying to tell if this like has a lot of streaks in it. I think it does. I'm gonna go in with uh, a sponge. Now to contour, I'm going to use a Ruby Kisses cream palette. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. And this doesn't have a smell either. All right, next up, I'm going to go back in with this concealer. And this is the concealer by Nicker K. This stuff is super thick. <laughs> I have never run across a concealer this thick before. So I'm gonna put it right here and see what this does before I get the slathering it on everywhere. Now initially when I put this on like to set it, as an eyeshadow base, I feel like I thought it was my skin tone, but not so much anymore. Guess I'm a little bit colorblind or don't have a sense of perception. So I'm gonna put a little right here. I would definitely say if you have like um, dark spots or blemishes that you're trying to cover, man, this, this concealer <laughs> will cover it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead, although I'm a little afraid because I don't know if it's gonna lift or not. But here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit more right here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. And I'm gonna set it with this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This is it right here. I'm gonna use the shade. Y'all, I am really liking how this is looking. Trying to see what it's feeling like. If I wanna just put powder all over it, cause I like how it's looking now. I don't want that really dry um, look. I want like a glowy, radiant look. Okay, so let's keep moving. What do we have next? Okay, so let's get into blush and highlighter. I'm gonna use this palette. This, this color as the blush and this is the highlight. But these are powders, this is not a cream. All right, let's see what we gonna do. So I got some on my brush and I'm gonna just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And that's really red. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just kind of go over that a little bit. I am gonna put a little bit on my nose and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. 
and I'm just gonna go up over here and then go back in with my foundation brush. And for the highlighter, I hate it when I sit down and I don't have everything that I need. It's very frustrating. All right, so this is the highlighter. This is like super gold. I don't know if you can tell how gold that is, but it's like super gold. Okay, so I got it on this brush. I'm gonna get it off a little bit. Now I know you're probably wondering, is she gonna set it? And like right now, I have a dewy setting spray by Milani. I wish I had the matte setting spray. I don't have the matte setting spray. You can get a matte, uh, a Milani matte setting spray for $10 or less. Also, you can get Nika K or um, Ruby Kisses setting spray. I don't think I'm going to set set it because I really like how it is now I feel like it feels really good now what I will do is go back in with another brush and just kind of blend out the edges of the foundation I can't use the other brush that I have because it's got you know all kind of colors on it and stuff like that all right I'm gonna go back in over the cream bronzer and I'm gonna use this shade up here. All right, and for the lips, I'm just gonna use a Nika K lip pencil. And now I'm going to use a NYX Butter Gloss. All right, I'm going to go in with a Ruby Kisses Mascara. And then, you know what, I feel like I want to be a little extra on the lips. I'm going to take some of this highlighter and put it on my lips. Only because I want to be doing the most. Right? I'm just trying to lighten it up. Oof. Just a little bit. And now I'm going to use a gloss. All right, and for the sake of the video, so you all can see how this powder looks, I'm gonna go ahead and add some powder. All right, I think this may be it, y'all. Let's see how I got some on. I think this is the final look. Let me know down in the comments uh, if you tried any of these products and if you have, how did you like them? And you know, this look, it looks bomb. I think it does. I'll be able to tell <laughs> once I start editing. I might have some weird action going on under the eye, but Mm, I think this is I think this is it so yeah let me know down in the comments what you think I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches